What is up guys, I'm Ryan and in this video we're going to go over some practice questions for the product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule and also for the derivatives that we learned about in the previous video, okay? So to start off, let's take an example question, okay? Question number one, we have x cubed ln 4 minus x squared, okay? So this is fx, yeah? And the question is asking us to find that, uh, show that f prime x okay, is equals to negative 2 x 4 over 4 minus x squared plus 3 x squared ln 4 minus x squared, okay? So basically, they already, they're being nice. They gave us the answer here already. We just need to show how we get from here to here, okay? So pause the video, try to do this by yourself. Um, okay, so here's the answer. These work solutions, okay? So first, is we need to recognize here is polynomial function type. Here we have uh, ln function type, right? Or natural log, natural log. And then, so based on this, we know that we have two function types multiplied with each other. What does that mean? We have to use product rule, right? Product rule. And how do you do the product rule? Very simple. D the first one, don't D the second one, plus D the second one, don't D the first one, okay? So how do you D the first one and not D the second one? D the first one is just simply 3x squared, right? Not D the second one. So not D the second one. So what I do, I copy down ln 4 minus x squared, right? Very easy, okay? Then plus. Not D the second one. Do not D the second one. Do not D the second one. It's just x cubed, right? I just copy it down. So do not D it. Copy it down. Um, D this becomes this, right? Do not D this. Copy it down. Then do not D this, copy it down, D this, and put it down. Now, now, now the question is, how do you D this, okay? If you pay attention here, in order to D ln 4 minus x squared, it's actually not just natural log type, right? If I rewrite it here, okay, we, you have to notice that we actually have something else extra in here. So this is composite function, right? Composite, right? Meaning what? Meaning we have to use chain rule, right? Chain rule, okay? Now, to do chain rule, remember we, I said that we have to separate it into different layers, yeah? So the layer is, outside layer is this, so we have ln. And what is the inside layer? We also have an inside layer. Inside layer is here. Oops, right, let me use a different color. Inside layer is here, right? Inside layer is what function type? It's a polynomial function type, right? So in order for us to D this with chain rule, what do you have to do? Start from the outside in, yes? Outside in. So the derivative of ln is 1 over x, right? But instead of 1 over x, I do not write this here, right? It's wrong. Because I need to copy down everything that is in the next layer, yeah? This is layer 1 and this is layer 2, right? So instead of writing x here, I cannot write x, okay? I need to write down whatever is in the next layers, okay? But we only have one layer afterwards, so we only need to copy whatever is in here to here, okay? So what do we copy down? We have to copy down 4 minus x squared, like this, okay? And then, since we have to do chain rule, what do we need to do next? We need to multiply by the d of the second layer, right? The d of the second layer. The d of the second layer is simply negative 2x, okay? Why is it negative 2x? Because 4 d is nothing, right? And then negative x squared d will become, drag the 2 down, 2 minus 1, power minus 1, x to the power of 1, so it becomes this, okay? So if we were to combine these two together, we multiply it together, it becomes negative 2x over 4 minus x squared, correct? Now, that means... We can put now, we can put, we can now put this here. We can now put this as negative 2x over 4 minus x squared, okay? Because we just showed that the d of this is this, right? And what are we supposed to put here? We're supposed to put the d of this, right? Because we have ch product rule, d the first thing, do not d the second thing. And then do not d the first thing, so I just copy this down. And then d the second thing, right? d the second function. So if I d this, I get this here, right? How do you know that if I d this, I get this? Well, look here. Just explained it, okay? d this gives you this, okay? And how do you d this? You d this with chain rule, okay? Now, does my answer now look like this yet? Hmm, does it? Almost. So this second part looks the same. How about this first part? This first part almost. So we just have to expand it, right? Expand. So the first part here, I leave it because it's already correct. Now, x cubed, we can multiply it in with the 2x. So it's negative 2x to the power 4 over 4 minus x squared, right? So now this, as you can see, matches up with this. So done. Okay? Done. So uh, to be official, let's leave it as f prime x like this. Okay? So equals. 
So final answer here. Okay. All right. Next question. Next question. Okay. So let's say we have f x equals two minus e to the power of x over two e to the power of x minus one. Yeah. Okay. And we want to show that f prime of x is equals to negative three e to the power of x over 2ex minus 1 squared, okay? We want to prove this, okay? So how do you do it? First is, I recognize that here, what do we have to do? We have to do quotient rule, right? Why is it quotient rule? Because I have something in the top, I have a function in the top, function in the bottom. They're both different functions, right? So when there are different functions divided with each other, I have to use quotient rule. And how do I use quotient rule? If you remember, it's low d high minus high d low over low low, right? Now, so how do you do it? What is low? Low is simply 2e x minus 1, right? This is just low. So this is this, because I'm copying this here, okay? Copy this here, which means here, okay? Now, multiply by the d of the high. d of the high is simply negative e x, okay? You should know how to do this, okay? Why is the d of this just e negative e x? Because the d of 2 is 0, so it's just 0, minus d of e x is just e power of x, right? So that's why I have negative e to the power of x here, okay? Next, minus, okay, high. So I copy down the high like this, right? How can I copy down the high? Because here, right? Because here is high, so I copy it down. d the low, okay? What is d the low? How do you d the low? d the low is just 2e x, right? Boom, like that, okay? d the low is that, why? Because 2, d, e, 2, copy the 2 here, right? And then d, e, x, d, e, x becomes this, right? d, negative 1 becomes 0. So nothing is plus 0 here or whatever, right? Plus 0, so I don't need to write anything, okay? Next, bottom, right? Bottom is low, low. One low, low, so it's just 2, e, x minus 1 squared, yeah? Okay, so let's look. Does this look like this yet, okay? Not yet, just need some simplification. Okay, now how can we simplify this? Let's see. Uh, we can factor out ex, right? We can factor out ex, but we want to make it 3ex. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom is done already. Bottom is done already. Okay, so let's just expand everything first to see what we can do. Okay, so uh, if we expand this, it will become negative 2e, 2x plus ex minus uh, to 4ex plus 2e, 2x, right? over 2ex minus 1 squared, okay? And as you can see, these cancel out, right? Because it's negative, this is negative, this is positive, okay? So at the top, what are we left with? We are left with this, okay? And if we were to match up with this, boom, just like that, okay? So these cancel out again, and then e to the power of x minus 4ex becomes negative 3ex over 2ex minus 1 squared, boom. So we successfully showed that if we d this becomes this, right? Because, okay, if we d this, we need to use quotient rule. Quotient rule is a hint, it's here. Quotient rule, hint here. How do you do quotient rule? It's low d high minus high d low over low low, right? So copy the low here, d the high, which is becoming here. The minus here corresponds to this minus. And then what do you do? High, right? So this is high, copy it here, d the low, d the low, and then boom, put it here. And then low low, meaning I take the low squared, okay? Once you get to here, you can notice that you have to expand, right? Distribute, distribute, expand. After you expand, you know that this this cancels, and this is just simple algebra. e to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x, 4 e power of x becomes negative 3 e to the power of x, right? So then, you prove that. Boom. Same thing. You showed it, right? All right? And that will be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, put it in the comments section below. Uh, good luck, and until my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.